Yeah, it's definitely turned out to be about as much of a perfect day. And again, for this part of the golf, tournament for the golf worlds for golfers the best in the world who are 50 and over and even I'm approaching that at 48 but in a couple of years I guess I'll be legit to truly cover it but it is an honor to be here for this so yes welcome to Tipper and Golf Course in Naples for this the Chubb Classic for round one one of the biggest events here in Florida for 2023 for golf for the PGA Champions Tour now this is three rounds 78 golfers teed off today 54 holes in total and the focus of course is not just on the golf but really the incredible volume of fans that we saw all throughout the day starting at 8 a.m. with the first group teeing off from the casual fans to the more obsessive they're out there too but that feeling of gratitude that today was really a gift was definitely out there after Ian we're always watching for the events that can make all of us here in southwest Florida feel like normalcy is returning back at five we talked to golfer Rocco Mediate who's lived for years in Naples so he had a good perspective he said it was amazing we even just had a golf course here after Ian hit but now a shift to some of the spectators and some of the people we talked to are here for the week for a guys week Weekend. Others who are here for winter really just enjoying a break from what we all still see around us for when it comes to hurricane recovery here in southwest Florida. I think, I think it's great. You know, what's, what's sad sometimes is you go into some of the areas that are still have a lot of work to do, but the people are all upbeat about it. Everybody's looking, you know, the positive side of things. So, you know, the, the cup's really half full and love to see that, right? We're here with snowbirds. We're here for the winter. Uh, we were a little concerned coming down because of things we love to do, the Naples Pier, which isn't with us anymore the quality of the beaches, uh, but the restaurants have reopened uh, a lot of them. The beaches are getting cleaned up. We've been coming down for 15 years, so we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, but uh, we're just happy to be here. This beautiful weather. Just wrapped up. Paul Goidos and Bernard Langer each at eight under to lead the way. So a two man race at the top with a bunch of the other golfers at seven under and coming up at 630. We'll hear from Rocco Mediate again, given his knowledge of the re of the region and also a final glimpse at what has been just a wonderful Friday for golf, but really just that sense of community you get here in the golf world in Southwest Florida. Another reminder of living the good life right here in our region. And we'll see you at 630 for that reporting live in Naples. Chris Earl, Fox 4 News.